This is Twit. So once upon a time, um, it may have been difficult to toss a perfectly good consumer router into the trash bin. Um, and while it's still probably not easy or reflective, uh, uh, last Wednesday, the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation, our FBI, posted one of their PSAs, a public service announcement, which was titled Cyber Criminal Proxy Services Exploiting End-of-Life Routers. Uh, here's what the FBI wrote. They said the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, yes, is issuing this announcement to inform individuals and businesses about proxy services taking advantage of end-of-life routers that are susceptible to vulnerabilities. They, and then they explain, when a hardware device is end-of-life, the manufacturer no longer sells the product and is not actively supporting the hardware which also means they're no longer releasing software updates or security patches for the device. Routers dated 2010 or earlier likely no longer receive software updates issued by the manufacturer and could be compromised by cyber actors exploiting known vulnerabilities. End-of-life routers were breached by cyber actors using variants of the Moon malware botnet. Recently, some routers at end of life with remote administration turned on uh, were identified as compromised by a new variant of the moon malware. This malware allows cyber actors to install proxies on unsuspecting victim routers and conduct cyber crimes anonymously. A proxy server is a system or router that provides a gateway between users and the Internet. It is an intermediary between end users and the web pages they visit online. A proxy is a service that relays users' internet traffic while hiding the link between users and their activity. Cyber actors use proxy services to hide their identities and location. When actors use a proxy service to visit a website to conduct criminal activity, like stealing cryptocurrency or con contracting illegal services, the website does not register their real IP address and instead registers the proxy IP. The Moon malware was first discovered on compromised routers in 2014 and has since gone through several campaigns. The Moon does not require a password to infect routers. It scans for open ports and sends a command to a vulnerable script. The malware contacts the command and control server and the C2 server responds with instructions, which may include instructing the infected machine to scan for other vulnerable routers to spread the infection and expand the network. Tips to protect yourself. They, have, they wrote... Commonly identified signs of malware infections on routers include overheated devices, yeah, like when it's mining cryptocurrency with abandon, problems with connectivity, same, and changes to settings the administrator does not recognize. The FBI recommends individuals and companies take the following precautions. And they, they list five. If the router is at end of life, Replace the device with an updated model if possible. Second, immediately apply any available security patches and or firmware updates for your devices. Third, log in online to the router settings and disable remote management, remote administration. Save the change and reboot the router. Fourth, Use strong passwords that are unique and random and contain at least 16, but no more than 64, characters. Avoid reusing passwords and disable password hints. And finally, if you believe there's suspicious activity on any device, apply any necessary security and firmware updates, change your password, and reboot the router. So, you know, this is good but not surprising advice for anyone listening to this podcast. Still... It's not anything that most non-cybersecurity aware users would ever think to consider. So it's a good thing that these sorts of reminders and advisory you know, public service announcements are being made by an entity that the public would trust, like the FBI. So that's good. 
Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below. Security Now.